Yeah, all the Johnny Depp stuff's on YouTube. That's where I just watched most of it. It's been getting kind of crazy. Thanks to the gift sub Wet Sock and the resub Nova. It's incredibly sad. It is. And Amber Heard's facial expressions throughout the entire thing look like something out of The Office. Thanks to the bits, RJ. She poo poo the bed. <laughs> she did poo poo the bed. Yeah. Why is this whole thing filmed? Wouldn't it be a private affair? What do you mean, the trial? I actually don't know why the trial's so public. This must have just been, like, part of the thing to, like, drag her publicly since that's what she did to him. Usually they're not this public. Is the resub heffy? Reciprocity for what she did. Yeah, yeah, like, like I'm saying, that's probably why it's so televised and so public. It was just, must have been in like the proceedings or something like beforehand. They established that this was going to be in everyone's face. And I'm glad it is. It's a good example to set. Thanks to the Give Sub Ocean. Did you think Johnny Depp was originally going to win? All the audio, everything they've played, everything they've shown has been public knowledge for the last couple years. Like that audio clip of Amber saying, I wasn't punching you, I was hitting you, you're being a baby, you're such a fucking baby, I only hit you, I've been hitting you, not punching you. All of that's been public. I can't believe it ever even had to come this far. It should have been dead in the water the second those started to surface. The thing about her severing the top of his finger, also public. The only thing that came out from this that's a new information is the fact that Amber Turd took a shit in his bed. Everything else was all public. Thanks for the five gift subs again, McLovin. Thank you, man. The gift sub Ocean, the bits Ali, RJ, and Minto. He's just as bad, though. What has he done? I don't know. That's a genuine question. I, I don't know anything horrible Johnny Depp's done, but in this case, he seems very innocent. Even their smoking gun, which was... Well, this picture of him passed out from drugs and this video of him slamming cabinets was very underwhelming. He was slamming cabinets while Amber Heard laughed and filmed them. And that was supposed to show that he was a violent person, but really it did the opposite. It showed that even when he's not controlling his emotions, he's not hurting her or anything like that. So I don't know what... I don't know if he's done anything else, but in this case, it doesn't seem like he's done anything to her. His mother died and he was slamming cabinets. Oh, is that what that was? Man, it's even more fucked up that she would film that. Jesus, what? God damn. Hey there, Mustard. Thank you for the five gift subs. Appreciate it, man. Well, that sounds awful, Minto. Thanks for the gift sub, Zule. No way is that actually real. That I haven't heard. I've only seen the clip and seen them use it in court. And it really accomplished... Everything that the fucking defense has presented to try and, like, uh, attack Johnny Depp's character has done the opposite. I remember they did the text messages. Yeah, actually, I'll just play the text message video. That one is so goofy. It In the actual text messages they read, it contradicts the point that they're trying to make about it. Uh, I think it was... This will probably bring it up. Is it this one? Which one is it? 
Which one's the one where it's like your throat? He talked like it was a. They were like dirty talking about her throat or something. What what, what was that one? Because they've read a lot of text messages, but what was the one with the throat? No one knows which video it was. I'll just, I'll summarize it then. They were reading like <laughs> dirty text messages, I guess, between the two of them. And she was like, you're going to be the death of me. You're going to grab my throat or something like that. Which I think was the context of them like sexting. And his response was literally, there's so many things I'd like to do with your throat, none of which involve injury. <laughs> so he, in his own sexting, he makes it clear he has no <laughs> desire ever to like hurt her. And they read that as if it was supposed to be something like, Whoa, Johnny Depp's gonna fucking kill her. And then Johnny Depp made a joke out of it because the defense read that twice back to back. So he asked him to repeat it one more time and the court laughed. He repeated it. Was it four times? He repeated it four times? I thought it was twice. Jesus. He's a tier one, honey. Oh yeah, and then the defense guy called it pouring a mega pint. <laughs> Which Johnny Depp made a joke out of too. The defense has just been giving Johnny alley-oops to make himself... It's like a stand-up routine, honestly. He's a prime potato. There were the texts with him and Paul Bettany talking about burning her and drowning her, though. I saw that in a headline. I saw that transcribed. There was something like, will bury Amber and burn her or something. I don't know what the context on that was. I didn't see that in any of the court videos, though, so I didn't know if that was real or not. So I don't know what that's about. Yeah, that one sounds kind of unhinged. Is the prime Dio. It's right there. Well, this isn't in the actual court. This is just a transcription again. Like, I don't think this has been brought up in court yet. Or maybe, maybe it has. Maybe I just haven't seen this video. But either way, that was basically the text. It was brought up in court. I just, I must have missed the video then. Probably just a metaphor. Well, from the what I understood, it seemed like he was shit-talking his ex. It seemed like he was probably drunk or something and shit-talking his ex. Getting real edgy with it. But yeah, I don't think it was like metaphorical. It's actually pretty uh, on the nose. Was that the one with the uh, the throat thing of Bungie? Next to the tier one harmless. We've all said shit like that. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I think the entire thing was. We'll drown her, bury her, and I'll fuck her corpse to make sure she's gone or something. That's, it's very unhinged. Yeah, I'm sure we've all shit-talked after, like, a really emotional period, but not like that. That's, that's a little, that's a little intense. But yeah, that one was definitely pretty fucking unhinged. But, I think in this case, Johnny has never actually abused Amber in any, in any way. 
That seems like something a drugged out Hollywood edgelord would say. But he's definite. I really don't think there's any way Amber somehow wins this case. She has literally no proof against Johnny, whereas he has tons of mountains and mountains of evidence against her. Like that singular text seems to be the worst thing Johnny's done in their entire relationship. Is the resub Sreedle and Jib? The one at the bottom of the screen? Oh, this, yeah, this one? Let's burn Amber. Let's yeah, this is the one. Her before we burn her, you yeah. said, I will f her burnt corpse afterwards to make sure she is dead. Johnny's own disturbing yeah, words that was, that was the one. text to his friend read in open court to the jury. And you wrote that about the woman who would later become your wife. Yes, I did. And disturbing audio of an apparently under the influence Thanks for your sub death in Yonio. That's your voice making those moaning sounds. <laughs> Sound like an animal in pain, right, Mr. Depp? I don't see how that so one's relevant. Exactly what I uh, said before. Yes. On the stand under oath, a different. Did side you make these moans? Death came out today. For the idiot cow, I'll smack the ugly <laughs> around before I let her in. Amber's lawyer read the messages with words too graphic for TV after he got Johnny to admit this. You'd agree that abuse can take many forms. It can be physical, it can be verbal, it can be emotional, right? Indeed. The revelations came amid a contentious cross-examination. Okay, I'll yeah. just stop talking. Um, thank you, I, I appreciate it. I want to be respectful of the court's time. Thanks Prime Beats. Um, Sorry. I just said I want to be respectful of the court's time and the jury's time, and I, I trust that you do too, so. Um, well, could, I don't feel you... like I'm wasting anyone's time, sir. Attorneys pressed him about his alcohol and drug use. You were drinking pretty heavily. Were you there? <laughs> that question to you, sir. There was this photo taken by Amber of Johnny with melted ice cream in his lap. This is a picture of you on a, on a black... Yeah, I don't think anyone would ever say alcohol. Johnny wasn't an alcoholic way of putting it. or a hey, drug sir. addict. And that was a wonderful picture to take for her. Sure, I so... I don't know why she took it. But... What? So it's Miss Hurd's fault. Thanks for some blood. picture was taken. The jury was shown these bags of marijuana and a pic from Johnny's recording studio. Pretty huge bags of marijuana, correct? Yes, sir, that is a lot of marijuana. And Deb admitted this photo from 2013 included a box in which he had kept cocaine, though he at first said he hadn't. You, you, you can't it, say that you carried cocaine in that box? No, but it looks like it would fit some cocaine. I, I, I... <laughs> And we're joined again by Court TV's Chanley Painter. Now, Chanley, how did the jury react to all this? This jury is impressively Damn. stoic. Four Give Chanley a better mic. What is that, a Blue Yeti? Six men and Good three Lord. women. Most are young. Now, some of the younger men, maybe in their 20s, seem to be getting a kick out of this drug use exchanges back and forth. But there is well, the reason people are getting a kick out of it is because it's kind of a moot point. That's, she's not suing him for drug use and alcohol consumption or anything like that. Just because someone is an alcoholic or, or whatever doesn't necessarily mean they're destined to beat the shit out of him or something. The whole case started with Amber Heard claiming that Johnny Depp, like, abused her. Physically abused her. And him, her proving that he was an alcoholic, which everyone already knew, doesn't do anything to prove that point. It's just moot. It's just trying to muddy the waters as much as possible to, like, put some distance between what she actually said and, like, what they're trying to claim now. It's just kind of silly. The actual worst thing Johnny Depp has done from everything I've seen or read is those text messages, which were the, uh, we'd bury her, burn her, and fuck her corpse or whatever. Super edgy, weird shit, but it f there's no evidence that he'd ever put his hands on her abused her physically, sexually, or anything like she claimed. But yeah, those texts were super weird, for sure. Which I think pretty much anyone would agree with. Whereas in Amber Heard's case, there's so much evidence that she not she even openly admits to physically abusing Johnny. And then severing a piece of his finger when she threw a vodka bottle at him, and shitting in his bed, and cheating on him. Like, take your pick.
the, all the drug use and all that stuff I think is kind of moot. And I think everyone already knew that. I, even when I was a kid with Pirates of the Caribbean, I knew Johnny Depp was an alcoholic at the very least. It, it was kind of a well-known thing. Have you seen the finger pick? I did. I have seen the finger pick, actually. And the poopy pick. Because his maid took a picture of the shit. He said Tyrol, Turbo Granny, Pope in the Prime, Veteran, Himdal in the Tier 1, Sivrin. <clears throat> I'm surprised it took you two years to hear about her shitting in the bed. I didn't know that was public knowledge. I knew everything else about the case, but never heard that she took a shit in his bed. Thus spawning her new legacy as Amber Turd. I never heard that. It was greasy too. What are you talking- it wasn't fucking greasy, it was smeared. She took a shit and then covered it up with the blankets and, like, smashed it. It wasn't greasy, that shit just got everywhere. It was just a fucking fat, steaming pile. It was just a kebab. Good reference. Thanks for some webheads, Provo, and the bits, Traxler. No, the only advice I can give you is consistency. That's the only thing you can control, really. The rest will be luck. So just make sure you have fun. His lawyer should try the kebab argument. His lawyer should just be fired on the spot. Or her lawyer should just be fired on the spot, to be honest. That guy is so incompetent. It's crazy. He's like a lawyer you'd see in a badly written TV show. I can't even believe it's a real court half the time. It feels like Johnny Depp is playing the comedic guy in the... The defense attorney for Heard is playing the straight man. And they're like bouncing jokes off of each other. Like there's almost real chemistry between them with the comedic timing on half this shit. Thanks for the resub pylon. In law school we're following this every day. It's a literal clown show. We have to keep a straight face while this defense attorney gets greased live. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like it's a fun part of the curriculum, though. Better than, like, studying for the bar forever, I guess. Thanks to Tier 1 Chicken Nugget and the Resub Willow, Thick Milk and the Bits Traxler. Fun fact, he's doing what's called the Chewbacca defense. Yes, it's an actual legal strategy used by lawyers, not just a South Park episode. I've never heard of that. Is that real? The Chewbacca defense is a legal strategy in which a criminal defense lawyer tries to confuse the jury rather than refute the case of the prosecutor. It's an intentional distraction or obfuscation. Wow. That's a real thing? That sounds exactly like what he's doing. What a great title for it. Oh, is it, wait, this might not be an official title as I read on. It comes from the it comes from South Park. But I guess maybe they've adopted it as like the actual term for it now maybe. <clears throat> Nice. That, is, that was a fun fact. You weren't wrong. 
That was pretty interesting. As we sub somatic and mortified in con man. Hey, Nady. Have they not said anything further? Because it's been, what, like two months now? Exhibits Goblin. I haven't heard of that show before. I can check it out, though. I know the FFA remo or revoked Travis J uh, Trevor Jacobs' pilot's license. We talked about it last night. I think he got off very easy with that punishment. The FAA, not the FFA. Did I say the FFA? Yeah, whatever. You know what I meant. The FAA. Is the prime ship. No, I'm not going to be publishing any of the uh, YouTube night VODs or anything anymore. Twitch has been really weird about, like, VOD DMCA stuff, so I'm just not going to risk it. I'll be posting the, the a lot of it on the huge Charles channel, though. So, if you want to see it, it'll end up there. Sorry about that. I got 27 emails when I played a single song during the R Play stuff. It's just not even worth risking. Thanks to Prime Tav. Look up Johnny Depp. Is this your signature? Is that from the trial? Because I actually haven't heard that. Well, I don't really want to watch a 14-minute body language observation. What is it? What did he? What did he do about it? It's the fourth one. This one. Objection. Calls for hearsay. Nani? Oh, it's a fucking what meme comp. Um, Let's let him object to another one. Had a conversation with Ms. Hurd. Thanks to the bits, Nady. <laughs> Let's move beyond the conversation that Kevin Murphy had with Ms. Hurd. Yes, they had. <laughs> it appears that Ms. Hurd had told. <laughs> He does love the hearsay. For him to cook. That's hearsay, I guess. I'm not interested. Sure, it's often the truth of the matter asserted. He got it. Okay, all right. Well, then. I'm learning. How can this guy, like... Jesus, what self-respecting lawyer would continue, like, even continue? This man is getting embarrassed. Daily. His face, like, everything is out there. This man looks like such a fucking fool. God damn! But he's probably made so much from he's probably made so much from representing Amber Heard here. He's set for life anyway. Right, this is hearsay, Your Honor. Disturbing. Yes, I looked at papers. Maybe they're hearsay. I can read it out of someone's article, but not from the man's mouth. It's a it's a pretty simple yes or no question, which is You'd like other than. Other, nothing simple in this case. Other Over his two months <laughs> before December. That's correct. Is there so um, Joel, Jesus, and Tristan? Part of your divorce proceedings, correct? That's my signature, indeed. That is your signature <laughs> on the right, correct? Yes, it is. This is the document you signed. Jesus! Right? <laughs> I haven't seen this part. For the third time, that is my signature, yes. And that was a document you signed in August of 2016. Correct. Is that the same one that I signed three times before? Yes, yeah. that's the well, I just I wanted to make clear that you signed that clear. in the summer of St. Paul Bet. <laughs> Again. Okay. So, she, you, you, the bottle were drinking pretty heavily. I just, I don't know how you sit there and get laughed at to your face by not only Johnny Depp, but like the entire goddamn world. How does he keep showing up to court? How is he not taking like a, sit, a sick day? Like, hey, Amber, I can't come in. I'm drinking. I'm not coming. I, in fact, I quit. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> this sucks. You're fucking guilty and I can't help you. Now I look stupid. Good lord. It's a fetish? Yeah, maybe. 
He's a comedian on the side. I guess. He plays a really good punching bag. Fucking wild. Never challenge a pirate. Yeah, I guess. Thanks to the Prime Muck and the Gifts of Manic. There you said Ryan and Sakata. No, we're not doing another YouTube night tonight. I just wanted to watch a little of the Johnny Depp trial since this whole thing's been so crazy. Is the person asking these questions famous? They are now. They're a defense attorney that Amber Heard hired. But she may as well have just hired a fucking birthday party clown. Were you there? Very ugly situation with Amber. So Mr. Depp, with, with the, respect, uh, trying to respect the court's time and the jury's time, that was not my question. My question was I simply, when you, you, would agree, you, look for you would agree, you would agree, you would agree that on... <laughs> Exit five hundred. Five hundred. Exit Prime Orc Nerissa Julian. I'd like to see who I lied to. I'm strength. I don't think they will, even if they do, Nady. It's not like they've ever caved to it before or anything. Maybe you carried cocaine in that box. For like the animal abuser guy, it took them literally three months, like after it was brought to their attention. Marilyn Manson killed uh, so that he would stop talking. So much. <laughs> that right. You did. Did I read that correctly? You did. Okay. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. <laughs> did I read that right? You continue to read them right. <laughs> but you are right after. I won't give you anything to argue with me yet. Right after you sustained an injury to your finger. Sorry. That you. Right after you sustained an injury to your finger. Bush yourself up um, a mega pint yeah a mega pint yeah fast forward in time a little bit mr depp um yes i can feel it i have other <laughs> uses for your throat yeah this is this is the one this is the one injury i have other uses for your throat which do not include injury sorry could you read that again <laughs> Yeah, that was supposed to be like a big one for them. It didn't really work out super well. Honestly, Johnny Depp looks like he's just having a good time half the time I've seen him in court here. Amber Heard brought just like a, a fun, goofy guy there, and then that's it. Johnny Depp's looking at a big payday. He gets a little stand-up comedy routine from a guy pretending to be a defense attorney like... I mean, that's just, that's honestly just a good week, really. These are edited, these are edited, they weren't all constant like that. Bro, you think, what, you don't need to tell me it's edited, it's a, it's a compilation of goofy moments. Of course it's fucking edited, man, that's not how the fucking trial went. It's just pieces of it. I've seen most of, like, the full clips here from it, like the excerpts that they're taken from. I know, it's just fun to watch them all together, because it's been quite the quite the circus. Thanks to the resub Ribsis, Leon, Sinister, Robert, and Yell. The only thing I would like to know, and I haven't seen too much, what has the judge been saying during all of this? Because the only couple times I've heard from the judge is her denying something from the defense attorney. Like, she's only sustained, like, two objections this whole trial, it seems. Judges don't say very much usually. Yeah, but usually, like, when you have all these things, like, with this guy just popping up constantly, with, like, hearsay and whatever, the judge will usually, like, opine or something or give some kind of, um, like, confirmation, denial or something like that. But I haven't really seen so much, of, or very much of that. Is the resub Liu Kang? She sustained four compound objections in a row, and the lawyer was fucking stunlocked. Yeah, I think that's what I think that's what I saw. Cause it, uh, hey, I don't think it was the defense. Was it the defense attorney? It might. It must have been. I guess, huh? Cause it was like a, a fucking machine gun.
Next thing you said, Truth Sauce, Gris, and the Bits Minto. And yeah, I did hear about that Minto. I actually didn't know that before 420. Is Amber Heard on the poop map? No, I'm not sure. She apparently only shits in Johnny Depp's bed, like a cat with a litter box, so I don't think that would pop up on the San Francisco poop map. There's the prime stink. And the bits fire. No, the poop map is real. San Francisco. I didn't believe it either. The San Francisco poop map is a real thing. But it's for public shitting. They usually cut out what the judge says unless you watch it live, but usually this judge has been absolutely maiming the lawyer along with Depp. This lawyer is also a professor, by the way, teaching others about law. That's so cute. Exhibits human disaster. No joke, today is Amber Heard's birthday. <laughs> no, it's not. That's a fucking lie. You just told a bold-faced lie right to me. No way. No way. Oh my god, happy birthday, Amber! Oh my god, this is a... What the fuck? And the defense attorney didn't even bring balloons? Or a cake? Are you kidding me? Bro, what good is a clown if he's not even gonna help you celebrate your birthday? What the fuck is this, Amber? I didn't know it was her birthday because the Aquaman official Twitter account didn't tweet it out this year. Damn. I'm sorry, I would've... Man, I would've at least, like, brought something. Diapers, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Amber Turd. Is a tier one wood? Amber Heard is one inch taller than you. Nah, she lied about that too. Nah, she's she's not five seven. Thanks a bit human. This ma this Jesus this makes you miss court cam huh this does like this would be a great advertisement for court cam this shit feels like some kind of bump for judge judy it is such a goofy goofy trial and it's all because of how unbelievably silly that defense attorney is that she has like it's a super serious case but my god that guy it's like he, he was hired from Craigslist, like to impersonate an attorney. Why doesn't Amber ever talk? Because it's not her turn yet. How long is the trial going to last? I don't know how long these usually last. I, I really have no clue. But I know she hasn't even been like cross-examined or anything yet. So I think we're still in the early stages of the trial. And it seems unwinnable for her. Unless she has like some crazy like bombshell evidence that has never been seen before. It seems pretty unwinnable. This one's looking like five to six weeks. Is that right? Thanks a prime, Sam. That'd be kind of wild. 
That would be wild. A Bungie and the resub holic. Thanks to the resub Oreo holic, J Rod, and Lusion, and TJ. Kind of hope it'll be longer so we get to see more stupid shit like... We get to see more of the stupid shit this lawyer has to say. So here's what I think is going to happen. When it is Amber's turn to be cross-examined, the defense attorney's not going to be able to really perform admirably with his comedy. So I think it's going to hit like this mid-season lull where it's just going to be Amber getting grilled. And then we'll get back to like late end of season of the trial and the season finale is probably gonna be kind of fucking huge but i do think when it's her turn to go up on the stand it's gonna get kind of under uh, not underwhelming boring from like an entertainment standpoint because then that's the serious stuff that's when there's serious serious shit going on and the defense attorney can't be there as comedic relief i hope they don't switch the cast <laughs> true hopefully he doesn't get replaced Thanks to Resub Guy in the back, Afro, Behemoth, and Freshness. And I have not played Deep Rock Galactic, but I do know about it. How'd you beat Melania? I just had a strong build. I also used um, Bloodhound Step for the weapon art. Really helpful. Thanks to Prime Sanchez. What would happen if in the end Amber won by some Satan-given power? Well, that's what's crazy. Uh, Amber did win initially. Uh, she ruined Depp's career for a while. Even with the mountains of evidence of her being the abuser, she did win the first time. So it's not like it's open and shut right now. Even though her and her whole team look incredibly silly, somehow the court may just find a way. She won the one in London, but the whole trial was scuffed. She ends up winning because the exact location of the poop on the bed could not be confirmed. I know you're making a joke about that, but that was actually a technique tried by a, uh, convict a confirmed murderer. I've told this story before. There was a man who murdered, I believe it was his girlfriend, and he wanted to represent himself. So he stood up in court and just started, like, giving a crazy monologue as if it was something out of a TV show. And the entire crux of his argument is, I did kill her, but every single one of you is wrong about how I killed her and where her body was. You're lying. And because you are lying about where her body was, I should be let f <laughs> let go. I'll see if I can find the clip. It's, it's a fucked up case, but what he tried is one of the most outlandish things I've ever seen. Yeah, right here. Double murder suspect defending himself. Yep, this is the one. Uh, let's just get the the cliff notes here. Oh, here it is. Oh, is it only left ear? Left channel? No, no I, I can't do that. Let's get some let's get some better audio mixing here. The defendant is guilty of first-degree murder as charged. 
Earlier this week, Ronnie O'Neill III was convicted of two counts of first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. He was also found guilty of arson, two counts of aggravated child abuse, and resisting an officer without violence in 2018. Exit tier one. This guy. The verdict comes after weeks of an unusual trial in, in Florida, the recent where O'Neill chose Butin. to represent himself. The evidence is going to show I love my children. What's it gonna prove? That this whole entire case has been tampered with and fabricated. <laughs> God. Right. Oh, what? It cut it off. Into the penalty phase, O'Neill changed his tactics and decided. What? Do they not? To not act what? as his own attorney, since prosecutors have said they intend to seek the death penalty. The penalty phase began on Wednesday, and the jury is expected to hear lengthy testimony from a psychologist who examined O'Neill before deciding his fate. Man, they cut off literally the most important part of that. The thing is, he said, this has been tampered with. I did kill her, but not where you said I did, nor how I did. That was the whole point of his argument. But this one's only left channel. That's so fucking annoying. Maybe this one? Oh, here we go. The evidence is going to show. This is the first impression jurors received of Ronnie O'Neill, the Riverview man charged in a gruesome rampage that killed his girlfriend, his young daughter, and nearly killed his eight-year-old son. O'Neill, representing himself, shouted at the jury during his opening statement. And the evidence is going to show. That law enforcement tampered with evidence. But the state says evidence is indisputable. That's Jesus, the they are still they are cutting the off that part. Attack on his family is Ronnie O'Neill, and it starts with a 911 call from Kenya and tried to stab to death his eight-year-old son, also named. My son did not see me murdered. Oh. My daddy killed my mom. God, it's so evidence fucked. It's going to show. My son did not see me murder his mom. The evidence is going to show. He did not see me shoot his mom. Okay, they're they're cutting off the part. But uh, you you it's fucked. You it's fucked. But his whole point was because it was tampered with because. I did not kill her where you said I did. That was the whole argument that he tried to make. It's fucked. But I get the same vibes from Amber Heard's defense attorney. Just an actual unhinged idiot. The video below it. I, I don't I don't really want to go for it like round four and them cutting it off again. I, I, I'm just I'll, I'll lay it out there. That's that's the that's the spoiler. All right, last one. Literally last one. If this is still fucked up audio or if it cuts it off again, then so be it. We're starting from here. I don't think this, this is the right one. Act of bravery after surviving the unthinkable. No, this one's that was just a uh, after trial thing, I think. <clears throat> was this the left ear? One thing that oh, it I was. That night, I asked him to tell the jury exactly what he saw. A witness for me, the Khalil Brown, was a help to them proving. Me guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. They would have called Mr. Here, I'll, yeah, Brown. maybe subtitles since yeah. it's only left ear. A fraudulent recording. Where they alleged that I beat Kenyon Barron to death. He talked about. Mr. Khalil, this is a resub beefy. Who 
He really thinks he's a lawyer. Yeah, this is exactly what I think of when I hear someone represents themselves. Mr. Khalil Brown was a help to them proving me guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, they would have called Mr. Khalil Brown. But I called Mr. Khalil Brown to be a witness for me. His cadence is like, he saw one I law movie lie, and thought it was a good idea to try this. That night, I asked him to tell the jury exactly what he saw that night. And you have to ask yourself why that is. Because he's playing a fraudulent damn recording of me beating Kenyatta Barron 15 damn times when that did not happen. And like I told you earlier, you will know the truth whether in this trial or the next one. Thanks a bit, Joseph. If you think I'm here to play around with y'all, goddamn it! God, it gets it gets so dank with this audio. Holy shit! Swearing language is not appropriate in a closing argument. It's like the you can't handle the truth scene, but for an entire closing argument where you confess to a murder. Now he played a recording that was sped up. Why didn't you play the regular recording? that people can understand what the call was saying. I objection to the defendant asking a question, Your Honor. Um, I'm going to sustain I'm talking the, to okay. the people. Mr. O'Neill, listen, please just keep in mind this is not personal towards the prosecutor. <laughs> please keep your comments directed towards the evidence and the law. I mean, roast them if you want to. Fuck it. Let it ride. I know for a fact Kenyatta Barron Recording from her phone did not record calls sped up like that. I'm going to object now. He's talking about facts, not in evidence of what he knows. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Thanks, Teresa, jury, you were instructed, the closing arguments are just that. They're not the evidence or the instruction on the law. It's just what the parties believe the evidence shows or does not show. All right? Thank you. I still can't believe courts allow people to represent themselves in a case like this. You heard Mr. Khalil Brown. You've been hearing me for two weeks now telling you that they committed criminal acts against me with the 911 calls and that fraudulent video. He is representing so himself. Far. Now, I'm going to prove it to you. You heard Khalil Brown. He said that he was actually sure that I only hit Kenyatta Barron three times. You heard. I called him to tell you that. Thanks, Arisa, Kevin. I running from nothing. They didn't call Khalil Brown to tell you that. I had to I'm going to be so upset if this is not the one that captures the whole thing where he confesses to killing her. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I, want you to I rest my case. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, and it still cut it off. Oh my god. Bro, what the fuck? None of the... I don't know why it was so hard just to find that one part. That is like the craziest part of the whole thing. And then he goes on to like, tell how he actually killed her. As if that was somehow supposed to dismiss the whole case because a couple of things were wrong about the exact method of how he murder, uh, committed a murder. A, a murder. It's fucking melting my brain. Thanks for the gift sub meat. I forgot how we got here. It took so long to fucking find this. I, I brought this up as a point in the Amber Heard case with his defense attorney and I've totally fucking forgotten now. But isn't that some crazy shit?
Thanks to the bits Miyagi, the bits Joseph. <clears throat> Eliminate finish the moist song. I heard it fucking slaps too. Wait, that's actually nutty, Nady. That is a wild coincidence. Thanks to resub Drew and Chance. Thanks to Prime Golden. Risa River. <sighs> Plan? I don't know. We were just talking about this for uh, for a little while here. I, I think this case is absolutely crazy. More wacky, more wacky court stories. There is so many wacky court stories. So many. I'm eating pizza and it's trash. Why don't you stop eating it? Thanks, Resub Hassan. Amber Heard was just exposed for lying about covering up the bruises. The makeup palette she supposedly used didn't exist till after their divorce. Is that confirmed? Because I saw that floated around a little bit today. But the evidence seemed a little shaky there because it was fucking Twitter. So I, I didn't know if that was a real thing or not. It was confirmed by Miliani themselves. He's a tier one lasagna. The bits, Mario. And I probably will Mario once a new route's discovered. It was posted officially by Miliani Cosmetics. How about I just look it up? That'll make this so much easier. <clears throat> Miliani sets the records. Well, this is New York Post. Don't trust that. All of these sources seem very not reputable. Uh, New, York, New York Post is tabloids. New York Daily News, probably... Jesus. News, probably tabloids. I don't know just Jared and Jezebel, I think, is also tabloids, right? So is it like a good news source? Click one of them and see if they link the official source. Good idea. Just Jared is the only one here that might have a chance of not being trash, I guess. It's one I've never heard of. And then the very first thing I see is the Austin Butler reveals he almost quit acting to do this. So it's just BuzzFeed. Okay, so it looks like it comes from their, what is this, TikTok? Instagram? There's one thing you can expect from me and that's the unexpected. Cause I'm an international super spy. This seems like a really weird way of calling out an actual, like, important point in the case. But, I mean, I mean, you're right, this does come from the official account. They were like, damn, this is a good opportunity for some fucking clout, let's ride. This, I mean, this is a really important point. I feel like that could have been handled a little bit differently, but yeah, I, I guess she was lying about the makeup thing. So what does this prove? If I remember correctly, she made a claim that the makeup that she always carried around, which was Miliani Cosmetics, I guess, she had to use to constantly cover up bruises left on her by Depp in order to maintain, like, a semblance of a non-abusive relationship or some shit like that. I'm really, like, going to the back of my memory banks on it, because I don't quite recall, but it was something like that, I think. I'm sure someone has better info than I do, because I, I, again, I don't fully remember that one.
Thanks to Tier 1 T and the Tier 1 Titanium. That was basically it. Yeah. So I guess this proves that... I guess they brought the Miliani cosmetic kit that she's always carried around and used to cover herself up with to court. And Miliani noticed and realized that that palette didn't exist till 2017. Which doesn't work for Amber Heard's story. <clears throat> she said she used that palette every day back in 2015 to 2016 and it didn't get dropped till the end of 2017. Yeah. Thanks a good sub. Chromaticus. You said jelly beard. Mark Zuckerberg said that his employees lovingly call him the Eye of Sauron. Man, what the fuck? What does that have to do with Amber Heard? But now I'm curious. Do they really? Mark Zuckerberg's employees lovingly call him the Eye of Sauron. Well, all right then. Fuck yeah. Thanks for your sub pickle, Narlaws, Rev Show, and Sharpie. Wasn't the Eye of Sauron a bad guy? <laughs> that old Sauron. That asshole. This comes from a place of love for the Zuck. He's a prime alchemist. Thanks for the gift sub Sharpie. I have not seen Northman yet. I haven't seen Northman or Everything Everywhere all at once, but I want to see both of them. Very much so want to see Everything Everywhere all at once. That movie I've heard nothing but incredible things about, and it looks so interesting. Thanks for the bits of Bungie. No, no, not tonight, a Bungie. Yeah, I love the Devil May Cry series. Another fat 10 gift subs. Thank you, McLovin. God damn, man. Appreciate it. ASAP Rocky's going to jail. Is he? I thought he was just arrested on suspicion of the shooting case. Thanks for your sub corpse. Oh, he's out on bail. Gotcha. He's a gift sub, Robbie. And the two gift subs, beast. Opinion on Superbad? I haven't seen it since I was young, but that movie was very important back in the day. That was like a movie that brought everyone together. A movie for a generation. It's still good. Good. I'm glad to hear it's aged well. Thanks for your sub Robbie in the prime. Ian Nannan. There's a tier one, Matthew. Huh. 
Did you like the This is the End movie? Eh, not really. <clears throat> it was okay. Thanks to the resub auction. How is the 80s Men in Black series going? Bro, Men in Black wasn't made in the 80s. Men in Black was like, I think it was 1996. Or 1998. It's not that old. What shows are you watching right now? Fuck man, a lot. Unfortunately, I've started a lot now. Because there's so much going on. I'm watching Halo. Haven't seen episode 5, which is apparently the only passable one. But the first four have been miserable. I uh, started Better Call Saul. That shit is amazing. Just started Moon Knight tonight. That's going pretty well. And... Oh, I finished JoJo's Part 6. So, just those three. Thanks to the gift sub, Coach. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream Alien Isolation. Maybe at some point. One hundred percent gonna rewatch the POTC movies. P-O-T-C. What the fuck is... What does that stand for? Path of the Chosen or something? Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. Okay. I mean, the first three are the only three good ones. Thanks the Prime. Hook, Tiny, and the resub Beans and the Bits, Mario. First two? Nah, you're misremembering, man. Third one was also good. The technology they used for Davy Jones was so ahead of its time, too. It's actually crazy. It still holds up. It does still hold up. Well, at least Davy Jones in particular. God, look at that. He's still so fucking cool. He's re sub electrical. Do you feel dead? He says that here. Yeah. I still remember it. Still such a good movie. All your deeds laid bare. All your sins punished. No, 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 no. It, it, it's, it's like a Laurel and Yanni kind of thing. It's, do you feel dead? Do you fear death? It's all the same. We're hearing the same thing. the fuck why does it look so good uh, there was just a lot of passion put into it man the pirates movies were literally the biggest movies of their time pretty much it was so good the amount of times i saw the first pirates of the caribbean movie is crazy that was like the first like scary ish movie i watched with like skeletons and shit that series is so good. Well, the first three are so good.
The Mummy. The Mummy was just never, like, scary at all. Pirates of the Caribbean kind of was to me when I was a kid. Because of, like, everyone being dead and undead and shit. The Mummy was just always super fun. Johnny Depp said he never watched the movies. Johnny Depp has never watched a single film he's been in. At least I remember that used to be true back in the day. That was a big story. Johnny Depp doesn't watch his own movies. Weird question, do you script any of your videos? Did I read that correctly? Oh, random question. Do you script any of your YouTube videos or is it all off the cuff? It's usually all off the cuff. Unless it's like a story I'm telling. I'll sometimes write down like key points of the story I don't want to forget. Yeah, other than that, I just kind of free flow shit. It's more fun that way. I feel like scripting things just takes all the fun out of it. I tried scripting a skit. Well, it, we did script a skit. But it just didn't come out well. I just don't like writing shit. I don't think it's, it's just not as fun. Doesn't feel as natural. Thanks to the Prime Adonis and the Resub Grizz. You wrote a porno. That's different. That wasn't like a like a script for a skit or something. That was fucking porn. <laughs> oh, that was totally different. Was the Spongebob episode with the gorilla suit scary to you? No? What? Was that scary to people? And I was scared by everything as a kid. Thanks to Reese of Alex. I started scream crying. What the fuck is wrong with you? What do you mean? <clears throat> Weren't you afraid of the 2012 apocalypse or were you too, too old by then? I feared that till the day after the Mayan calendar ended. I used to believe in every doomsday theory imaginable. 2012 was like a ticking time bomb. 2012, I was so convinced the world was going to end, I was doing everything possible I could to figure out how to get laid. And I never did. 2012 passed with me still being a virgin, and as that clock was winding down, I was like, this is it. This is how it all ends. They're going to make fun of me up in heaven. But luckily the world didn't end. Weren't you 18? Yep, I lost virginity at 19. I already know what Juice Galaxy is. Thanks, Resub JB. I'm 21 and still haven't lost mine. Well, you're doing all of the right steps to lose your virginity just by being here tonight. Women know that. They appreciate it. So it's coming. Things are sub chaotic. Hmm. 
And the resub Russian Hunter Killer. What percentage what percentage of your audience is women? I believe it's growing. Uh, we're usually at like a 97% female viewers. And 100% of those are usually supermodels too. So it's kind of pretty good stats all around, honestly. I think it's the resub chaotic. Hey, glad you liked it, Proxy. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we watched that speedrun history already. I love speedrun docs, so I've seen pretty much all of them. There are still a few that I want to watch on a YouTube night, but we're not doing YouTube tonight. Tonight we're just going over the whole Johnny Depp case and somehow ended up at Davy Jones, so it's it's been a bit of a ride. Did you, what? Did you see the girl at Coachella that got caught smelling her armpits on the live feed? It zoomed right in on her. It seems so trivial. I smell my armpits all the time. Sometimes you just smell like shit. Thanks <clears throat> the prime soap. Well, thanks, Electrical. Things a Prime Wombat. And the Resub Shoe. We do a bad game night again soon. We did one only like three days ago, actually. It hasn't been long, but yeah, we will. Makes the bits turbulent. And the anonymous two gift subs. I do know Vasily Bare Knuckle fights. Favorite Pokemon season slash region. Whatever the first region was. Gen 1 is still my favorite. I don't think that'll ever change. Kanto? Was it Kanto? Nah, Gen 1 had the best episodes. I still remember the episode with that, uh, not, not the ghost type Pokemon lady. I can't, her name was Sabrina, right? She was cool. They had this episode where there was, uh, like an actual haunted hotel they were staying at or something. And it was all about this lady whose lover went away to fight in a war and she still waits for him to return. And for some reason that was so deep to me back when I was a kid, I was like, wow. That's so fucking crazy. And it's not like they ever solved the issue either. It's just still haunted to this day in Pokemon lore. She's still just waiting for a guy that died. 
unable to move on. So just forever damned to sit there waiting for her lover to come back. <laughs>